Kieran, guess what? Oh, what's going on? I've run out of creative juices. So <laughs> this one's for the monotone individuals out there. It's a, a podcast uh, coming up with spoilers, um, opinions, and bad language. Uh, stick around for some more of what's to come. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Work on your juices, mate. Thank you. Hi there, welcome to the podcast. It's 250 reasons to stay indoors. I am Jordan. I'm Kieran. That was a bit weak, wasn't it? You were oh. just so like, oh, I'm Kieran. Not so sure of yourself this week. I'm Kieran. There we go. Self-assured. He's Kieran. I'm Jordan. We're all still the same person. Definitely. We haven't been abducted by aliens and, and changed. this them. is the podcast. This is the podcast. <laughs> where we watch the IMDb top 250 films and we say a bunch of stuff about them. We get a random number generator, press the word generate, and it gives us a number between 1 and 250. We find that number on the list and we watch that film. Yes. So, Jordan, I'm not going to ask you. Oh, go uh, ahead. Try me. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are we going to watch this week, Jordan? It's Wally. Oh. Yeah. And it came out in 2008. Very good. And at the time of recording, it's 63 now, on the IMDb list. Jordan, can you tell me when the time of recording is? It's right now. Oh, that is correct. Yes. Now, have you seen Wally before? I have seen Wally before. Okay. Are you going to ask me if I've seen the film before? Have you seen this film before? No. Oh. I am so, oh. so excited to watch this film. It's Disney, isn't it? And so I'm yeah. just, you could expect that I would be on top of my Disney. It's, you know. It's the kind of thing that's my vibe, and I'm really, really... Yeah, Disney robots, man. Disney robots. Disney robots. Disney dusty robots. Exactly. And I'm, I'm fully... I'm really ready for it. Okay, so what do you, what should, what do you predict? Well, I kind of know what's kind of going to happen. I know, I know what the vibe is. Okay. So this is actually a real-life prediction of what I actually think is going to be in the film. Yeah. Not, not some, hey, we're two funny guys talking about... <laughs> anyway, so, as a robot... And it's on some kind of planet where he's got to clean up all the junk. Yeah. He doesn't, there's like barely any speech throughout the whole thing. There's like no speech. And he goes around being cute with his funny glasses, eyes, things. Yeah. Picks up rubbish and he puts it in places. And um, he meets someone called Eve. Mm -hmm. So he goes, Wally. And then he meets someone called Eve. That's all I know. Okay. And then, and then this person Eve is cool. Uh, well, it's not a person, it's like another robot yeah, that yeah, levitates yeah. and stuff. Okay. And they become friends and they collect more rubbish. That's what I think it is. <laughs> they so, become friends and they collect rubbish together forever till the end of time or until their batteries run out. Yeah, I think, I think it's. I think that's right. I think it's like a, it's, it's emotional because it's like friendship, but also, hey, be careful about the environment, kids. Okay, here's my prediction. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're two funny guys. It's going to be a wall the shape of an E, and that's all it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> should we go watch the film? Yeah, let's go watch the film. Okay. Okay, and we're back. That was a brilliant film of a wall in the shape of an E. Um, so, Kieran, you got we got some fast forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. go for it. All right, ready? Go. Robots. Dust. What? Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on a second. Here, what's going uh, on? Wait. Okay. So, okay, I'll start again. You say your next one, Jordan. Okay. Okay. Robots. Eva. That doesn't sound like you, Jordan. That wasn't me. Uh, who, something who weird going that? on. To <laughs> Oh, we're being funny, guys. <laughs> uh, so we we went to watch the film, um, and then this uh, this guy turned up. This uh, this is Ben. Do you want to say hello, Ben? No. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Uh, Hi, guys. <laughs> so so Ben is a really nice man. I've just met him. I've I've known Ben um, in in both pre past lives and this life. <laughs> Probably future ones. Yeah, bad to guess. Many to come. Um, and it's pretty yeah. cool how you can keep your friends during re reincarnation. That's kind of cool. It is, yeah. Well, basically, you have to go to whatever religion, re religious sect you're you're a member of. Yeah. You just you um, 
you dial a same, similar to how you get your IMEI number on your phone. What's that? Yeah, so you just have to put in hash seven four nine seven seven four hash. With star hash. Yeah. Star oh, hash. sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fine. And then uh, that that brings you through to your uh, your god, <laughs> and you just say, "Hey, what's up? Um, this is my pal. I'm just gonna ping over his number to you. If we could just keep him attached, uh-huh. you pay like seven credits or something like that. I think seven so. credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm Honestly. gonna continue the fast thoughts because we took a, a mm. quite a big detour to let this guy in. Yeah, um, but Ben, everyone. Oh, hey, Ben. Hey, <laughs> good to be here. Uh, good to have you. Thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, Spaceships. in all seriousness. <laughs> Um, fat people. Eva, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, people who don't walk anywhere. Fat people. Uh, you know, you've already said fat people. Yeah, well, you just describe fat people. Okay, okay. junk. B and L. All right, well, let's just move on. Felt like the natural Bloody hell, let's there. move on. Yeah, I think all we've like learned from this end. is that between all of us, we don't have any fast forts. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, Kieran, you want to hit us with your 15-second pitch? Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, you ready for this? Okay, here we go. Mm. Three, two, one, go. Wally is a robot who is the last thing on Earth that collects rubbish and he puts them into piles and little blocks and makes towels and things. Then one day, this uh, robot from another place uh, comes in and tries to find a plant. They go back to this fucking spaceship and they realize that all the uh humans left left and they come back when they discover that the plant's there and they rebuild uh, life on earth that was like 23 seconds 19 shit mm. yeah yeah it didn't do a great job yeah it's, it's yeah i mean for, for me personally it's hard to sum up i'm sorry i'm sorry guys I'm sorry. and to be honest i don't want to be picky but i didn't even feel like that was the exact plot of the film but oh well, i mean i know it's oh, first time oh here, you know what that's, no I... that's fine i'll tell you what i'll tell you what ben why don't you do a 15 second pitch okay, okay. All right. Well, F- first time this has ever happened. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Are you ready, Ben? Yeah. Count me in. Count me right. in. Yep. Three, I'm gonna two, stay you out. one, go. This is a film about there's a robot left on Earth called Wally. He cleans up after everyone and he's really lonely, but he doesn't know it until another robot appears to come and save him. Not to save him, just appears. They become friends eventually. They fly off into space together. Then they realize that there's all humans out there. They want to come back to Earth because they can grow things. They eventually do come back to Earth. Everything works out in the end happily. 19 seconds. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I, okay, fine. Do I've you want to say... Place. I respect that. Ben uh, sounded a little bit better. Thank, thank you, John. That's fine. You know, listen, uh, doing this job regularly, it's, um, it's, it's tough to keep the consistency high. So... I'm all right. You know, I'll let you have this one. You know, then. Kieran, you let the stress of being a famous podcaster go to your head, mm. and I'm just going to I'm gonna let it slide this time. Okay. You'd been hitting 15, like, a couple of times previously. No, and I, I hit 15 we were once. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, was, it was twice, wasn't, wasn't it? Maybe. You've anyway. had some 16s as well. You've been, you've been yeah. good. Closer. Anyway, this doesn't matter. Okay. Should we get on with an actual synopsis? Let's do an actual synopsis. 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 Um, so we start, yeah, as as both Ben and Kieran have already said, um, we start by seeing Wally, um, this trash robot. Um, he's not hey, like, he's not a trash robot. Yeah, but I mean, his job is to collect trash and make also, it into a one, square. One bit of admin I want to get cleared out is I've been calling him Wally. You're saying Wally. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it is on? Wally, I guess. Wally. Wally. Should, should we make, should it we... feels wrong for me to say that. It doesn't. Wally. Oh, well, I'm definitely not going to do that every time. Wally. I think that we, should, for the listener, we should all say <laughs> Wally and Eva in the voices every time, hundreds of times. Okay. All right. Well, I will do my best. See how 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 much we can put up with that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I I don't either. Um, <laughs> you don't either. <laughs> Wasn't nice. even a response. <laughs> Wasn't even a response. Okay. Well, he this isn't there. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. So uh, Wally, Wally is York? a trash robot um, and he seems to be the only one that's sort of like still functioning. We uh-huh. see other ones around in, in this desolate wasteland of Earth. Um, so basically all of it's, it's like uh, a, a, a company is running the world rather than like a government sort of thing. Um, I think we're in like two, it, it was 2100 when they left or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they turned the earth into like just a heaping trash mound. So they all decided to leave. And Wally's just left clearing up stuff because that's his directive. Mm-hmm. Um, whilst he's doing that, we like get a picture of like how lonely it is. He has a little cockroach for a friend. Um, and we see that Wally is also like a nice, a nice like 
guy like he does he almost runs over it and he's like oh shit i, I ran him over and that sort of thing the cockroach um, that is yeah the cockroach and then so then uh eva's ship lands so there's this ship that gets sent from the the main sort of colony that's just floating out in space at the moment and its job is to go and find plant life in in different um worlds and planets um so eva is like a, a droid or an, an, a, a robot that goes around and searches scans things to see if it's like uh plant life then they call it a probe okay so she's a probe that mm-hmm. goes i don't know that doesn't sound right it doesn't feel like she, she probed much no so this probe she's is defective scan. um mm-hmm. that's what the guy says well uh, okay that, i mean got me on that a is, that is, that is there, for that one that is a true quote didn't have. okay true quote yeah so um they they do that uh and previously to this wally has actually found some plant life and put it in a shoe and kept it amongst his things his little knickknacks he's a bit of a hoarder um he's a massive hoarder yeah he's, he's a massive got, hoarder he's got a lot of stuff and loves lighters for whatever reason yeah. clearly smokes <laughs> clearly a smoker <laughs> he's a 20 a day guy it's just yeah, a really stressful a job yeah. he's got no, to I mean, just like yeah you gotta do something to numb the pain at that point it's been yeah, a long time it's just hard yeah um so then eva comes out and eventually like wally's just sort of instantly falls in love with her and um he brings her back to his little trailer and um hey babe you yeah. want to come back to my little trailer Sh- shows shows her all of his stuff uh and one of the things the lighters. Is, the lighters the lighters yeah the films and stuff because he's obsessed with this little film of uh some acting thing <laughs> film of <laughs> most most films are an it's acting some thing. musical from like the 40s or something yeah. like that um, i actually looked it up because oh, i was you? curious because oh. i thought it was um Oliver Twist, it's okay. not. It's so not Oliver Twist. Not. Like, yeah, and, and other people have told me the same. When I, well, my partner, I said that, she said it's obviously not that. So thank you for confirming. <laughs> it's actually a 1969 musical. I forgot the name. Something Dolly. You're okay, welcome, you're welcome for that half knowledge. So Bolly Dolly, we accept. <laughs> yeah. We accept half knowledge. Here. Yeah. Okay. That's the best. I've what got we don't to offer. accept is half truths. That is true. Um, yeah. But entirely true. Not half ways. Okay. Carry on. Um, so when Eva scans this plant, she basically shuts down and starts bleeping a little green thing. Um, and while he's obviously distressed by this, he takes her out to try and charge her with the sun. He's like doing all he can to tra- like wake her up. And then he kind of gives up, wraps her up with some rope and then just takes her around as if he's just taking her for a date. But, but wait, when the way you say wraps her up in some rope, it's like, he's just kind of making sure that she can tag along with him and go to all of his adventures. It's not as if he's like you know trapped us somewhere wally has no idea what's happened poor i mean Eva, i think he's trying to be friendly is what we're tr- you gotta make yeah, sure that he's yeah. doing it in a friendly way he just, he just wants her to wake back up he's and not also, sure why she's asleep for someone with not many social skills he's doing quite well actually someone who has literally no one in the world apart from a cockroach he's like he, do, he does quite well no i it's mean very, but if there was a lady Jordan, that so- you were trying to date and she was asleep and you just wrapped her up in some rope and then tagged her along with the you. The way you're saying it is yeah. so nefarious, Jordan. Like... Wrapped her up in some fairy lights. Does that make it any better? Uh, yeah. Festive. <laughs> Does it feed it? Yeah. Okay. Festive, non-consensual uh, It's festive. Activities. It's lighthearted. It's jolly. Okay. Is what, is, yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, what's actually happened is Eva has turned into a bit of a homing beacon, which calls back the ship. So eventually Wally kind of gives up with her and goes about doing his day job and he's out putting stuff into him his belly and making it into cubes and um then he sees that the ships come back and he obviously recognizes the ship and then runs as far well wheels as fast as he can um over to eva who's being taken away um he manages to jump onto the ship uh because he's trying to like knock on the window to get her out and the ship takes off and while he's in space Wally in space. Wally's in space. Wally in space. Sorry, Wally I completely is, forgot that we agreed Wally. that we Wally agreed. is in space. It's okay. all right. I'll do it when I remember. You guys don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Um, so then that takes him back to the Axiom, which is like the, the main ship. Mm, well the remembered. Big, thank the you. Mm. Thank you. That's the big ship, the big colony um, that's been in space for about 700 years. It was actually like their 700th year yeah. anniversary thing mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. That, that day. And one thing we learned is they were only supposed to be there five at five that point years, so they're, yeah. they're way over time yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's, yeah that's what it is it's like 700 years into our five-year voyage yes yeah yeah, yeah. and so what's happened what the deal is on this uh, axiom thing so they got like 
loads of robots and stuff and they've got all these robots to to sort out their lives so the parents do like zero parenting um of the babies they've got robots to do that and yeah. the adults go around on these like uh if you imagine like a deck chair or like a lounge yeah. chair kind of thing and they've got screens in front of them where they can talk to their friends they don't actually ever ever touch people or like no. they don't ever walk around their bones i mean they not only are they really fat but also they they've got they've lost their bones because over 700 years they've evolved to have yeah. less bones apparently um because, you don't need them because you don't need them. You, you just lie in your in your chair the whole no, time. No, that's a legit thing, though. I mean, when people were like bedridden for months, mm. they lose like bone density, oh. muscle mass. They yeah. just they just become big flat slobs. Big, big f- yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's exactly yeah. what happens to these people. So you get the vibe. Run by robots, um, except that there's the captain as well, and the captain, uh, big old fat dude. But also, everyone is extremely content on the ship. Yeah, there is not a vibe of gets back to earth no no everyone's just everyone's chilling the ship is not it's not got like the matrix underground vibe it's a mediterranean cruise ship in yeah. the sky basically. yeah yeah yeah, it's yeah, absolutely yeah. Massive. they have like a they've fake got, weather system that makes yeah, it like 72 degrees they, fahrenheit yeah, they've got a swimming pool they've got like you said they're floating ships it's a, it's a p and cruise in yeah space. basically it's, it's yeah really really nice cruise it's, so wally is sort of a, a foreign contaminant uh on this ship um and he's Trying to get to Eva. Eva gets taken up to the... Um... No, her name is actually Eve. He just can't say Eve. Well, yeah, but we're doing Eva. And Wally. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Her, yeah. sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Carol. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Um... Eva. Nice. Eva. Good Eve. <laughs> Eve. Carry on. <laughs> Eve. That'll never get old. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> Eve. <laughs> That's what you're doing. No, that's just what she that does, isn't vocal, she? Vocal warm-up. Eve. Yeah, okay, I've done it enough times. When okay, she cool. first teaching him is what Jordan's referencing when she's trying to teach Wally how to say it, I think. Directive? Nice. Directive. <laughs> Carry on. Anyway, <laughs> synopsis. Eva gets taken up to the captain's quarters um, as per the directive hey. of this whole mission um, because she's got a plant life. They open her up and there's no plant in there. Ba ba ba. Yeah, where's the plant gone? It turns out that the autopilot on the ship is actually trying to not get them back to Earth what? because there's a secret message from the CEO of B&L that says, I'm giving full control control over to autopilot and that never come back to Earth because it's just not going to be sustainable. By the way, it's actually the president as well. Cause, cause the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying earlier about the, like a, one company sort of running the world. So he's uh, like the president okay, CEO okay. of. Okay. But yeah, so he's he's doing like this speech, uh, like a presidential press speech. Conference. That, yeah, press conference. And on the plaque, it just instead it looks like the thing that would say president, but it just says CEO of B and L. Okay, something. cool. Um, so we yeah, obviously the, then there's sort of this hunt for the uh, plant life again, mm-hmm. and basically the film just sort of transpires in such a way that the autopilot is trying to stop them from getting the plant life, um, and they are just trying to get the plant over. Um, it ends with sort of uh, a situation where the autopilot is now trying to actively take control and stop them, uh, and like there's a big central hub thing that they need to put the plant in and then that will automatically set a course back to earth so they're trying to get the plant into this thing whilst the autopilot is like turning the ship on its side so no one can get to it and wally's being crushed under this central point that's the autopilot is trying to get back into the ground yep. Um, and through hard work and, and, and teamwork, all of the humans manage to pass the plant along and they get it into the little thing and they go back to Earth. Um, and yeah. they, they restart uh, plant growth. And yeah, like and, and basically the human colony gets back to Earth and they start again. Start a new Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. So that's the film. Um, Should we go into our beefs? Yeah. You want to do beefs? I have... One beef with this film. Okay. And it is a very, very minor beef. Okay. Okay. So you know the whole Disney Easter egg thing where they're like A113? Yeah. Being the room where the animators learn to uh, learn to animate or mm-hmm. whatever. I didn't know that, but yeah. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I think I've heard of it. Yeah. And and, they, and that comes up in, in different films. Mm-hmm. So, for example, like, I don't know, a serial code on the back of a thing in fucking Toy Story or some shit. I think it was like in the dust in Pocahontas or something. Like, yeah. 
Yeah, and it's oh, A113. One, one, oh, okay. Yeah, that comes up loads of places. Josh, it's not Disney fact. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, what a part-timer. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so this thing. And the the the, the automated system is yeah. called A113. Yeah. And it's like, in all of these other films, it's super secret. But in this one, it's super bait. And it's like really, really... You didn't like that? No, because it's, it's the point is that this little Especially thing, so. even though everyone already knows that it's in that film, it's going to be in any Disney Pixar film. I'd like to challenge that. If anyone else also didn't know that that was a thing, if you'd like to email into 250reasons at gmail.com just to prove Kieran wrong. Fine. Okay. But even though most, pe- even though most people do know, Jordan, uh-huh. they, still ex- they still expect it to be discreet. Yeah, like give us a bit of a chase. Those exactly. A- those A113 knowers give us something to look for <laughs> exactly exactly and it helps us lord it over the casuals who don't know it's just it. showing too much skin isn't it really yeah it's, it's leaving like, nothing to the imagination yeah let us have a bit of a hunt e- exactly i wanted to look for it yeah. but no it was just there in plain sight to be seen and frequently as well mm. not just at one point mm. so i was the, the the disney fan of me was like ah. Oh. apart from that one beef i had i have absolutely no issues with this film at all hmm Okay, well, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, oh, okay. I've got two beefs with this film. Um, and they're fairly minor. Okay, but I feel one of them is uh, quite, quite. Imp- this one really pissed me off. Okay. Eva, right? Yeah. When she first comes down to the planet, yeah, we know that she's obviously super high tech. Um, mm-hmm. She can charge like a light bulb just by touching it. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. She has a crazy, like ridiculously powered arm cannon thing. Yep. She flies without any sort of thrusters or anything like that. Yep. A sandstorm comes and she can't see. <laughs> <laughs> but Wally can. You're telling mm. me that like a, a, a trash robot can see in, in dust, whereas a super futuristic high, high tech space robot can't. She also didn't seem to have any plans for what to do, even though she couldn't see. And sandstorm seemed quite regular on Earth. Like it wasn't the first sandstorm yeah. we'd seen in the movie. Yeah. Her old job is to be on Earth for as long as it takes to find life. I'll give you that. They've given her the Tesla cannon looking thing that exactly. can destroy a whole exactly. boat at yeah, one point. But I'm, 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 she wasn't ready for mm, weather. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Because... All right, people on the the spaceship, uh-huh. they made this probe, didn't yeah. they? They made yeah. Eve. So yeah. Eva. They made yeah. Eva. Yeah. So so they they're going to be equipping her with whatever they think that she's okay. going to need, right? So okay. they're like, okay, well we know that she she needs to fly fast yeah. because they got to go through like some next hyperspeed to get to Earth anyway, so that you, you mm-hmm. know that they're going to need to fly mm-hmm. those places. Let's give her some lasers. Let's give her this massive cannon. <laughs> yeah. Why the cannon though? Just cause- because, you know, it's like self-defense, that kind of shit. And it was really... We can really, give it her, so we will. Exactly. Like, I've got this bazooka for self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. Um, but then when it comes to uh, things like the weather conditions, yeah. if all they know is one particular style of weather... Mm. Then... Two words for you, Kieran. Space dust. Yeah, but they always stay inside, don't they? Two words, Kieran. Weather channel. They don't... <laughs> you think they have yeah. a weather channel? Or you reckon in the archives that they... You're uh, telling me they don't have a weather channel. Well, the weather's no, always good. Of course they're going to report about it. It's true. Yeah, so th- therefore there was. N- it's never going to be like, oh, today's a good dust storm. One thing I could get on board with is that Wally, when the dust storm came, Wally knows to go into his house that he's created for himself with all his trinkets. Ma- when it happened, it did seem like maybe Wally was just a bit scared. Eva was obviously blinded. But maybe she could have just like potted down and just floated off with the dust and they're maybe, like walking yeah. up somewhere. It was really I Wally yeah. who was scared and I was like, I don't think the dust would have actually hurt her, whereas I feel like Wally could get inside some tubes or something. Wally and fuck was just up. scared to get separated because he has um, anxiety issues about being lonely again, yeah. I think. So that might have been it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, I think that's a reasonable beef, but I think you can do better. You've got another one. Yeah, I do. So when they're out in space um, after he's been shot out of the pod, yeah. so he, he tries to grab the plant that gets put into a pod to be sent off and it exploded. Yeah. Um, he manages to get out in the nick of time and grabs a fire extinguisher. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This is a fire extinguisher that seems to have far more inside it than its actual <laughs> capacity would hold. It was not a big 
extra large fire extinguisher and yet he was able to shoot himself out of space and also do some just fun amateur Acro- acrobatics, acro- acrobatics. it's a situation where like the hero's gun has unlimited reserves of a- ammo yeah but we're in the future aren't we so maybe fire extinguishers in the future are going to have uh maybe it's more compressed and you can put even more in a small amount of uh, that's interesting isn't it because it's like in the future fire extinguishers still look the same uh, maybe something to do with like the air in space, knowing absolutely zero about space. And <laughs> yeah. air. Maybe I could just say like, you only need like a little squirt and you're like, Pew! but Whereas yeah, but he's Earth, not just you... doing little squirts. He's yeah, like, you only need a little proper squirt. going. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, he, he is yeah, going he does for it. Go a lot. At one point, does he just hold Eva's hand and she drags him along for a bit? Like, is he squirting no, the whole it... time? Do we see a trail the <laughs> it whole does, time? It does run out. It, we do see it run out. But it, 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 is this is a question I've asked myself when I was watching the film. Is he squirting the whole time, or is yeah, he is he just that, going? Yeah, yeah, that is, yeah. That is a good point. I reckon. I, so I will answer every question in the defense of this film because I love this film so much. Okay. Um, so I will say that uh, I reckon they compressed more into it. So in the I, future, I, to be the, honest, the that's not hard for same. me to believe. Okay. So the, the design is the, the weaker of my two beefs, but know, okay, those so. are my two beefs. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right, I went for slightly bigger ones than what you did oh. in my own mind, I thought, anyway. And oh. one of them, John Kieran actually is just brought fully up. erect right yeah, now. <laughs> not, not, it's actually accurate. John, <laughs> John brought up not that long ago. Is Wally somewhat of a creep in that he didn't, because, so Eva, set the scene. Eva, Eva arrives on the planet. She's just there to find plant life. Wally wants a friend because he's been watching this film where he sees people yeah. have friendships. Eva arrives, he immediately thinks, I'll be Eva's friend. I'll try and touch her, hold her hand. <laughs> Eva makes it very clear, don't touch me. She fires a gun at him many times when he tries this is to true. touch her. This is true. And she says, stay with it. They become a little bit better friends when he saves her. And then Eva goes into her pod mode, sleep mode. Yeah. Wally, we've said, is somewhat protecting her. But in one scene, he clearly forces to hold her hand after she has earlier said. This is well, she didn't say anything, I, but I, she, I she yeah, pulled her yeah, hand yeah. away. Yeah, and like you said, he, saw- he he literally pries her hand out to hold it. To uh, hold it, yeah. that is a good point. I did, I didn't think about that. And my uh, my protection of uh, of this film is even th- it is big, but it is lesser than how much I value consent. <laughs> so I will consent accept- is sexy. I will, I will accept. It's broken you down straight away, Kieran. No, it's okay. Because because if you were like, ah. Oh, uh, non consensual hand holding, mm. and I was like, Oh, it's okay, it's Disney. Then I feel like that opens up a yeah. Yeah, that's a big can of worms. There. My yeah, only defense for my own beef, if I had to give one, which <laughs> okay. know, maybe, maybe a bit, um, maybe please, a bit unorthodox. You don't, can but... I have a counter argument to all of your arguments? Please? I, I'm only You'll be one, the worst so I'm lawyer. I'm gonna swing for the fences while I'm here. I'm gonna make the most of it. Mate, I'm, you're not coming to court with me. <laughs> <laughs> he might be guilty, but then on the other side, maybe you decide. Like, I'm not here to. I'm not here to tell you what to judge. do. You're the judge. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna take your job. Lawyer. Well, yeah. I don't. Nah. Other character side. Maybe we're just using our own. Um, humanize to assume it was some sort of uh relationship while he wanted maybe he just wants to be friends and all he's seen of friendship is this one musical where they're dancing yeah. and holding hands so maybe we're putting more of a you know sexual slant on it and he's, he's just this trying is to be true. friends i mean at the end of the day they're not going to have sex the closest thing they do don't is some weird think- kind of kissing thing where it's like an static thing but i think what we're mm. getting into here really is the semantics of uh free will in robots and whether consent is the same thing so maybe in the culture in robot culture consent is a completely different concept maybe exactly i mean free will is quite a sensitive subject for robots um, it's difficult to determine whether they have free will in, this, in such a situation. I mean, does Wally really have free will? I kind of got the the picture that Wally was different from regular robots because he'd spent so much time on his own. He'd like engrossed himself in human culture and maybe he'd developed a sort of learned behavior from that. Mm, so maybe he's that... on a different level to even, he's not the same kind of... I still don't feel like this this allows him to be able to forcibly hold someone's hand, regardless of whether it's sexual or whether it's not. Like it's it's still non consensual. Jordan or Ben, if I like, I'd like to say that we're friends. So if Thank I you. if I forcibly try I and disagree hold disagree with that, but okay, mm-hmm. continue. But <laughs> this is emotional. But if I forcibly try and hold your hand, it's still not okay. But no, this. I is mean, what... I, I'll I'll say this now. I don't want to have sex with you. 
but I would still like to be your friend. You've changed your tune. <laughs> right, well, I mean, what has all of this been about? Yeah, I'm just going to leave. Uh, Backtrack. I thought uh, that's what this was all leading up to. Uh, okay, okay. Our 250th episode where we do a video <laughs> one. <laughs> I actually was joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, but anyway, what I'm saying is that if I forcibly tried to hold your hand, then yeah. you'd be like, nah, that's still, I'm still not consenting for you to hold my hand. So, all right, we've explored the idea that Wally is uh, on a different level of like consent and and, yeah. and and social interaction and stuff. I just still feel like he's got a little bit further to go with understanding how consent works. And then well, he's got he's no got one to teach down, him, Kieran. Huh? He's got no one to teach him. No one's shown him that that's not okay. This actually uh, leads on to my next beef, so maybe I should just do okay. it now. Okay, yeah. okay. So the broader question of AI consent and robot consent yeah. because Wally is a trash cleanup robot. He breaks cubes all day, yeah. mm -hmm. but he clearly has feelings. He likes Eva. He felt lonely. He's got the cockroach friend, all yeah. that sort of thing. Right? Humans have abandoned him, abandoned him on earth for 700 years at this point. Yeah. Alone. All his friends are dead around him. We see all the other robots that are the same as him are just dead and he's harnessed yeah. in their body parts for new parts. <laughs> yeah. What is going on with those humans and the actual AI rights? And just before I finish this point, if AI does eventually take over, and as I expect robots do take over, I want it on record now on a digital medium that I was fighting for AI rights <laughs> early on. Oh, okay. If they become our overlords. So, so are you? What are you saying could be improved with the AI rights? I'm saying that film? as humans, so humans just went off on this ship and left robot workers back on Earth. Yeah. Right. Don't give the robot workers personalities and feelings where they could develop friendship or love or whatever while he's feeling. If his job's to crush cubes, just make him a cube crusher. That is actually quite fucked. I mean, if there's... Yeah. So, so, I mean... Oh, well, I've got a counter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, but you go first. Well, Wally, Wally uh, you, what you raised to me there that I hadn't really c considered, where I said earlier that, you know, he's had all this time on his own. That's 700 years on his own. So that's 700 years to develop a personality. Now, my question would be, did they know that this could happen when they first created him? This is what I'm saying. Mm. Because after all of this time, he, uh, yeah, so he's got all this learned culture yeah. that he's got from all his bits and bobs in his videos and stuff. Now, when, right at the end of the film, uh, he gets mashed up by this, let's call it a fight scene at the end. It's not a fight scene. Yeah. The big emotional scene at the end. Yeah. Where they put the plant in the thing and they go back home. Yeah. He gets mashed up by it and everyone's happy to be on Earth. But Eve's like, well, I'm glad we're on Earth because now I can try and fix you. So they try and uh, they go to his little uh, trailer and they find and Evie finds all of the bloody uh, eye parts and the new little logic board thing and, and, uh, and all of this stuff. And they put new parts in him. And yeah, he's starts functioning like a brand new robot like a wally good as new oh that's true but without yeah, without the memory of true. wally yeah so is that the bait that is the base so, that's the hard reset exactly so that's true so maybe like what you were saying they only planned for to have wallies for th for five years yeah. because they mm. only planned to be away for five years yeah. and so the emotional attachment and all that stuff was probably stuff that comes after way longer than five mm. years and so that's just like a, 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 a accidental defect. So here we go, Kieran. They needed to do risk assessments in the in a situation in which the humankind doesn't come back. This is in true. In five years, um, what's going to happen there? I think ultimately, if they had to make that decision, they wouldn't care. Okay. Um, one thing I did want to just highlight there, interesting, when you said um, he's obviously cannibalizing other Wallies. Yeah. Um, that. I, I'm, I'd like to see the point at which that first died happening and whether that had an effect on him. Because um, he does it quite nonchalantly, really. He sees like one with some nice wheels and he's like, I'll have them. And at the end, when Eva goes to save him, he has a box of he's dozens of eyeballs. Of yeah, but was check there it a dozens point where eyeballs. he was like feeling bad about that? No, okay. Have you ever seen the film Robots? Yeah, uh, no, I haven't. Mm. I don't know why. It's, I know of the film. Okay. No. It's a wicked Disney Pixar film. Is it? I think it's I reckon really it's not very good. It's, it's, it, was, it was the Disney era of uh, Brother Bear, if you uh, care to cast your mind back to the mid-2000s. Another well-known 
That Disney. is one. Yeah, yeah, these are Disney's real bangers. Um, these two. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Phil Collins did the soundtrack for that one. Anyway, the, the uh, deep cuts, Disney yeah. deep cuts. <laughs> but robots, actually, uh, actually, I think I might call myself out. Uh, um, uh, I know, it might be DreamWorks. Might uh, be DreamWorks. Oh yeah, I think it is actually robots. Oh, Anyway, I have but, no idea if I'm gonna say it's not Disney. But just, what happens in robots yeah. is they so when like you're two years old, when you become like three or four years old, yeah, you have to buy new parts. Yeah. And then your parents assemble you by like alone. What? When you're young you have to buy parts for yourself. No, no, no. Your parents buy parts for you. Oh, okay. So um and if your parents are loaded then you get like the paying as new parts. Yeah. But if if you're not loaded, then you get hand me downs from your brother or your sister. Yeah. And so some robots end up with parts that are differently gendered from the gender stereotypes that they might be used to. Mm. So this one kid had a pink middle for ages and he was bullied apparently. Anyway, what I'm saying is in that world, they'll swap out bits and bobs like on the daily. It's no big deal. They'll yeah. swap out those parts and it's, and it's no big deal. So I reckon in Wally's universe, mm. when there were loads of Wally's, um, first of all, kind of interesting how he's the only surviving robot after all this time and none of the other ones su- like survived yeah but must be the personality factor it there we go it's so that's it that's instinct. his survival he's ruthless instinct. enough yeah. to just start harvesting exactly but then also yeah so maybe underneath he's actually uh, uh he's he's it's all a cover for him being a some maybe. kind of crazy cannibal but also uh when there were loads of bodies around they were just swapping parts like it was no big deal and they were just going for a repair and just be like, oh, yeah, pass me that one. Yeah. And they just swap it in like it's no big deal. So maybe, so again, we're, we're, we're imposing our human things of just like taking body parts and whatever. For them, it's like, oh, it's just, it's just I don't know, putting a plaster on. Okay. I hate being a basic human, oh, not being so... able to think. One thing oh, they did do as well get is swap work. motherboards. I'm thinking the motherboard was the brain. Yeah. So then when you got yeah, to get, maybe you thinking, just keep yeah. the motherboard. Like, don't touch the motherboards. That's... The soul. <laughs> Take any other parts you want. Was... Yeah, and so... then when he got the new motherboard at the end, that's when he couldn't remember anything and either had to... Maybe had to Eva, do the had like, maybe to Eva stored a um, backup when she did the first kiss oh, and that was re- restoring from the backup. Shit, so but talking so about cute. random parts, move on to bits and bobs. Okay, let's move on to bits and bobs. Um, I, I just... I, I really struggled with this film. Um, Why? Well, like it's not, it's not a beef because I re- I did enjoy the film. I really liked it. Uh-huh. Um, but I just I I don't know. I'm I'm not lonely, guys. I swear. But <laughs> I just felt really really bad for him. Um, like yeah. at just every scene, like at, right at the start, I was really sad at the start of the film. Just watching him going around, like it it was just a little bit too much. I was just like, it must be so lonely. It must be this is horrible. I don't want to see this. And the thing I think it. It brought me back to there's a film called Short Circuit. I don't know if you've seen it. No, nope. no. Nope. Um, I, I can barely remember the film. I saw it when I was like six or something. And um, there's like a police robot that's like a. It's called Johnny Five. And, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. And and he like has to build. No, he doesn't have to build stuff. He's he's like some sort of like he's some sort of like um assistant robot thing. And he dies in the film. Oh. Um. Yeah. Like he gets beaten up by thugs. And I cried so much. <laughs> mm. I remember I have this really vivid memory of like going back into the living room and like going crying to my dad. And I was like, they killed him. They killed him. Oh. And Johnny Five actually looks a lot like Wally. And um, oh. he's like on like, you know, those Trailers. like trailer yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. And I think I was just, there's something about that Not kind trailers. of robot. I'm, What's the bloody word for those things? Tracks. Tracks. Yeah. Um, I, Jordan, we can't have the good without the bad. Like that that feeling at the end. Don't tell me you didn't cry when you thought that Wally was dead towards the end and he'd forgotten everything. Well, that's what I mean. It was bringing it all back. Yeah, but then what happened straight after? Yeah, he but... gets revived. He gets revived and the, the elation yeah. is just through the roof because you've had the low with the high. Yeah. Mm. Can we just talk about that end credits bit? Did you? W- I don't usually watch the end credits, but that little uh, animation at the end. I watched oh, a lot like of them. The, I didn't watch all of them. I the kid all of them. paintings. Sort yeah, because it went through different like art styles, as yeah. if like going yeah. through different generations of art, like started with cave paintings and then That's... ended with like a um, eight cool. bit, eight bit, eight bit. Did it end with eight bit? Yeah. I thought it ended with what's his face? Old. I've chopped my ear off, mate. What old uh, bloody uh, freaking, Van Gogh? Uh, Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought so. no, it ended eight bit. Okay. And uh, also, 
right at the end when it, when they do the Pixar thing again. Yeah. So the light bulb comes, the, the thing goes, and he goes, boink, 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 squishes down the eye. Yeah. He looks, and then his light bulb breaks. Then Wally comes along. Oh, what? Well, I missed this. Gets, his, <laughs> gets a fresh light bulb out, repairs the light bulb. Watch oh. it again. And yeah. then, and then, and so, so, so the, the light is happy now, but then Wally tries to go out of the scene, knocks over the R <laughs> and then, and then makes an R with his body <laughs> and then the light goes out. Oh, yeah. That's it's not actually what I was going to say. At the very, very end. That was when the, the very, very end. Ah, wait till my very, very end. If you think <laughs> that's the very, very end. One second before your very, very end, the pre very, very end, when they show the credits for the two companies, Disney Pixar. They also included the credits, uh, the logo for uh, B and L. Oh yeah, yeah, company. yeah! Remember that? Yeah, yeah, that was like, what the fuck? And because it was like they actually made the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was really weird. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, kind of crazy. Like breaking the fourth wall for did you, our credits. Did you guys see what Wally was? Uh, what Wally stood for? Yes. No. But I don't remember. He was uh, like load lifter. No. Oh. You, you, well, those waste are, those are the and those land, are the l- waste and load waste lifter, allocation expert. load lifter. I think, uh, like, yeah, email. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's Earth. Either says Earth class or Earth clash. It's weird because it looks like Earth uh, clash, but that makes no sense. No, okay. yeah, probably. Clash. And therefore, did that'd you be Wallach. See what Eve stands for? I knew that because expert actually... visionary expert. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's why I had written down actually. So. Yeah. They, no, they say it in sense. the film. It was like vegetation. Um, don't say it. Okay, just give me... You've got f- this, Ben. We believe in you. Give me 15 minutes of silence. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like extraterrestrial or extra vegetation... Extra. I'll have to take your. Fi- can I have your final answer, please? <laughs> extraterrestrial veg- veg- vegetable vegetation vegetation... Expert, <laughs> you are so close. Extraterrestrial oh. vegetation evaluator. Oh, ah. Of course, because she's a. Val- there you go. We all tied at the same <laughs> time. I hate myself right now. We're equally amount. Such equally disappointed. <laughs> okay, I got a few more. Okay, uh, they do a Rubik's cube. So call back yeah. to Rubik's cubes from which? This episode? one didn't have sound effects though. No, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, yeah, no circular Rubik's cubes with this one. No, uh, it was Big Lebowski. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Also, one of my favorite bits where I laughed out loud. Uh, the whole thing where you see him doing his thing before Eve comes into it at all, I, and all of his little quirky, funny, cute things. I found them fucking hilarious. Um, he so he collects loads of stuff. He's got uh, he's got like a tin can full of. Uh, forks and a tin can full of um, spoons, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and when he's on his day, you're kind of guy, <laughs> yeah, and and he really is. <laughs> and then when he's out one day, he collects a spork. He comes back and he wants to put. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know where to put it, so he just puts it in the middle. middle. So oh, pop really culture good. references, love them. Yeah, um, awesome. there was a good line in here. Uh, just want to on a on a serious note when um, the like screen gets taken off of a woman, like, and she's like yeah. sees everything for, like the first time, and and. Um, she starts to have like an actual like relationship with another guy. And uh, I think it's her that says at one point, um, I don't want to survive. I want to live. No, sorry. It's the captain. The captain says, I don't want to survive. I want to live. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, And yeah, that was, that's a good line. Everyone stop looking at your phones, start living life. Yeah. How do we all feel about the Mac sound effect being used for when, uh, when Wally Wally gets fully fully charged? charged. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, come on. What's the point of that? Yeah. I suppose it's Pixar, so they can do that. One of the question as well, is it? Like when they ran. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. There is linked up so they can. It's not as if it was like when it was a Wednesday when the guy opened his laptop and it was clearly not a Mac and, it went still didn't feel good <laughs> yeah, don't, don't it, throw in those sort of things it, it feels really like feel advertising right. uh, just sorry minor a quick little minor beef wally has a radio player uh, like a, a cassette, cassette player. player why why was why has he got that and he has so yeah. so that he could um so when so in the little thing that we see yeah. when they're like oh clear we'll clear up all your rubbish yeah you guys go to a spaceship yeah um so I'm pretty sure that it would be the humans and the robots working together. So each human would have a robot working with them at the same time. So it would probably be for the human's amusement that there would be a radio player or a cassette okay. player. Okay. There we go. It's, also, Kieran's got it all. I'm not going right. to argue that I mean, point. That's fine. Good work finding something he doesn't Thank have. You. Thank yeah. you very much. Got a question about uh, the whole thing with those videos and having humans. So when there was all of these uh, adverts and stuff that we, where we would see for the this, uh, what was Axiom? 
Yeah. yeah. When it was adverts for the Axiom, and every single time that the president slash CEO of BNL came into the video, it was uh, live action. It was a real person. Yeah, I had that written down. What, but, what? but then every other human in this film was an, yeah. was an animated character. So this, uh, first of all, raises a few things. Is this the first ever time that live action has been used in a Pixar movie? Second of all... Yes. Cool. And then also, <laughs> I'm thinking, maybe what they're insinuating is that 700 years time, everyone will look like that. So maybe this is actually live action. But the so the the the, the video was taken mm-hmm. in our yep. present day. Yeah. Right. And maybe in 700 years time, we will all actually look like the way that people are distinctly in the more animated yeah maybe yeah, that's yeah. what we'll actually look like that's a that's a hypothesis for 700 years time yeah we'll stick around listeners we'll see if that's true yeah we'll probably still be making this podcast it'll be like a million reasons to stay indoors but yeah one question i had in in this movie and other movies the year was 2100 when everyone left right yeah, roughly yeah, and then so. they were there yeah. 70 oh, years okay yeah why is like Wally listening to and watching like jaunty 1940s, 1960 music. This is my point. Why, why is it strange? Uh, with it's cassettes. Like, it... Why is it cassettes? <laughs> it's nostalgia. And probably because it's a bastion of, of, of human culture. Also, uh, uh, probably because the reason why he's got a cassette player is probably because it's the most sturdy and reliable uh, form of, um, of like replicating music because vinyls too flimsy can break really easily mm. cds the laser that that looks at the cd uh, just doesn't doesn't just look at mm. it it also reads it um they're really easy to break that laser yeah like i've done countless times on different things um he he has an ipod mm-hmm. but that one stays at home probably because it'd run out of charge mm-hmm. and his and so therefore a cassette player the actual cassettes themselves are quite sturdy plastic and also the film, you can wind up if, if you lose the film. Well, his iPod, mm. he like plugged into a dock, which then projected it onto something onto else. like a new TV. That was yeah, so that looked like it, it was like some next level iPod. I think, he, yeah, he was like just mixing old and new tech there. Tech we understood with... I don't, yeah, I mean, let's tech. not forget, he's a robot. He's probably smarter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, definitely. But not, not a not robot with 700 consent, years of... So. Yeah, well. I don't know. So um, do you want to move on to bringing and being a character? Let's move on. Okay. Um, ben. Character yeah. I'd add in. Bring okay. in. Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Probably the one everyone's thinking. Megatron from Transformers. Fuck, that's it's good. Obvious one. Okay, I've seen the first Transformers movie, and that's it. Okay. Is, that, is, so, it, is it the good guy or the bad one? The, mm. the bad guy. So yeah. Megatron is in the Decepticons. Uh, so they're the not nice ones. Not nice ones. And then the uh, Autobots are protecting Earth. Okay. And the Decepticons have just what we assume is a normal robot function. that They want to basically harvest Earth, destroy it. Um, Classic take, robots. Yeah, like just take every... We yeah. just assume that's what robots are all about. They want to come to our planet, harvest it, leave. I mean, that's what humans want to do. And then humans uh, made robots. So, so no. you throw... You throw him in here mm. and say, look, humans have destroyed our own planet. It's terrible. Here's Wally. Or Wally. <laughs> he's developed over 700 years. And guess what? He's not an idiot. Yeah. He's not trying to destroy anything. He's not trying to blow anything oh, up. Oh, so just use it as an example. Yeah, like bring him in to calm him down because Wally's so wasted, I think. He's on his own. He's a really <laughs> nice character. He's he developed a brilliant personality over the years. Mm. And, and, Tearing up now a bit, thinking about how great of a person he's turned out of. It, we just kept getting fed this stuff that robots are just going to develop to be horrible Decepticons. Nah, bring him in, Megatron. Uh-huh. He can learn a bit from Wally. Hopefully, it doesn't go the other way, and Wally turns into a well, Decepticon. Could probably quite easily be influenced by Megatron. <sighs> That's Shit. possible, but I'm willing to take the risk. Because so you, you want to use Wally as a tool? I want to, to use Wally because he's got so much good about him. I think it's just wasted holding hands with Eva. Yeah, true. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. All right, Jordan? No, you go first. Okay. Am I allowed to bring someone from pop culture, but not a robot? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I I, kind of feel a bit dirty doing this because if you asked me that question, I would say no. I know. I know you would, but that's just the kind of guy I am. a better person. Confirmed. Uh, Now... So if you do it, you're proving that you are not as nice a guy. Oh. This is tricky. <laughs> this is something Wally wouldn't be able to handle. This no, sort of this uh, is, ethical this decision. Is, yeah, next level this would be beyond here. him. Okay. I'm going to do it anyway. Oof. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm bold. sorry. I'm going to bring in the uh, cheese flipper. 
the big cheese from Robot Wars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, because... <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> so what he does is he is Wally's assistant. Okay. And, and so you know what the big cheese... T- okay, so those of you who don't know, Robot Wars is this thing that was big in the early 2000s and I think in the 90s as well and it had a bit of resurgence recently where a bunch of nerds build robots and they fight them against each other. Mm. There are some house robots who are these like really big, big, big bastard robots. Yeah. But one of the best ro- competitive robots were was this one called the Big Cheese. And what all it would do, I'm pretty sure it's called the Big Cheese. Um, all it was was this fast little nifty robot. And it was very, very powerful in this. So can you imagine a block of cheese, like a triangle block of cheese, um, where the, the round bit is like the back of it and then the, the slant of it flips up. Yeah. So what it could yeah. do to all these big other these other big robots, it would just go underneath it and flip mm-hmm. it up and then put it into a big ball of flames or something, right? Now, same thing happens with Wally. Yeah. So Wally makes a cube. The flipper flips it onto on the top. Oh, oh this is good. And yeah. so it this helps with good. the stacking. Yeah. Yeah. So and then I mean, I don't really know how it would work with Evie, because he'd just be three wheeling, even though he's got four wheels. Hey. But um, but sorry, he'd be third wheeling. Sorry, I got that ten. Yes. Yeah. So even though he'd be third wheeling along that whole situation, he might come to his own realization. Maybe maybe he doesn't have feelings as well. But I reckon he would be assistant to Wally. I think he would be the best assistant you could get in a robot. Yeah, I mean, I, it would help with that one function really well. I'm would. not going to be able to deny that. Also, Wally can't fly anywhere. He can't really jump anywhere. He can go places pretty quick, actually. I was impressed yeah, with how fast he could go. Yeah, this guy could act as a ramp and a, more of an accessibility. Wally's well, definitely ground-based. Yeah, he's, from, yeah. he's, yeah, ground-based. he's a ground-based robot. So, yeah, it would be an ac- ac- accessibility and uh, flipping things robot. How are, you, um, how are you dealing with the situation where Wally's no longer lonely? How is, how is that? How are you, how are you going to handle that situation? A lot of the film is based upon that sort of that desire to have well, a friend. I think, I think the cheese flipper, the big cheese, would be mixed with the cockroach because the cockroach mm. is third oh, wheeling okay. now, isn't he? At, at the end, so of the Wally's film. not friends with the cockroach. Uh, well, no, he is. Okay, but it's one of They're those things happy where happy friends all together. Well, you've got your work colleagues and uh, workmates, and then you've got your mates, mates. Mm. So Wally, so and maybe we have like the cheese. The cheese flipper doesn't talk. Maybe oh, like, yeah, I, I, I didn't imagine that the, that the okay, cheese just like could a, talk. doesn't a non unable to express itself or I think though the animation of the cheese flipper talking with his shoes cheese flipper wedge would actually be comedy gold and worth oh, trying to get in if we could like his mouth goes as a huge cheese flipper the whole time he's actually he's like trying to talk and he's accidentally flipping things in Wally's house uh, but maybe that's, like that. maybe that's the reason why he's nonverbal. Yes. Is, is because every time that he tries to, to speak, say, he oh, hello, something. I'm okay. called Big Cheese. So going with that, maybe every time that he speaks, he like is too loud or something like that, and or it doesn't work. Who are we getting in to voice this guy? Brian Blessed. Yeah. I, of course. <laughs> yeah, it literally <laughs> couldn't be anyone else. Don't even need to say anything on naturally. that. It's just like... Wally! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Especially just imagining it being a little, little tiny robot, but this massive voice yes. comes out of yeah. it. Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Great. Jordan, who you bring in? Um, so going with the Apple thing, mm-hmm. uh, the Apple theme, Siri. Oh, yeah. very nice. Yeah. I want to hear why before I give out a very nice. Okay. <laughs> I, I, but I imagine, so the iPod that yep. uh, Wally has, yep. get rid of that, don't like that. <laughs> we put in an iPhone that has Siri. Okay. So at some point along his journeys, Wally has encountered an iPhone accidentally held down the thing as he's gone over it. And it's like, hello. And it's a Siri that has been around with Wally for 700 years. It's probably quite intelligent as like, you know, because Siri learns stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Siri has been learning as well as Wally. And basically the two are inseparable. And Eva coming in is a physical thing that Wally can hold hands with. So, you know, he's had these conversations with uh siri obviously siri does most of the talking but like it, it's not a physical thing that he can actually sort of hold uh-huh. whereas eva's come in and now it's like an actual basically eva's come in like the girl next door and uh, it's this love triangle thing going on so oh so bit just, of the drama almost yeah, evolves into yeah. like a wally 2 after hours <laughs> yeah so so do you reckon yeah, siri is siri's like really upset at this point yeah so because like neither Eve, like Eva, or wally speak that much i would have siri is obviously like that's 
that's her unique selling point almost like that's her personality she almost thing. she exclusively speaks yeah she's the mm. talker so she's voicing a lot of her opinions about this but we can sense that there's a more of a physical relationship going on with eva and wally uh, and what that, do you think uh, she would say when she was like wally what are you doing i feel like siri would be really passive aggressive who the fuck is this bitch no yeah no? She, it wouldn't be like that it would just be are like, you sure you want to spend all your time with that stupid white woman yeah making subtle digs at uh Eva saying, you know, she looks like an upside down water bubble thing. <laughs> you know, there's things that you hit and they can't fall over. Uh, yes, I know what you're talking about because I've been to playgrounds uh, in Britain. So I, I, yeah, I, know I don't know. I mean, that's just off the top of my head. Seriously, yeah, 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 a, yeah. a robot, she could probably think so mm-hmm. smarter than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a really good shout. I, I, I quite like that. I'll let that one pass now that I've heard more about yeah, it. Skeptical yeah, at the you, start. You're down with that? your explanation. Great. Who would you, you be in the film, Ben? I'm going to say, I had, I had some thoughts and I want to say Eva or Eva, for a very specific Mm. reason. So Eva arrives, finds the vegetation, humans are fat and lazy, comes back. The the end of the film is them recolonizing Earth. Everyone's super happy. But Eva is already a smart... She's already learned as we go through. She's learned that she's uh, evolving with Wally, all these things. Mm. Why would she then want to just give humans back the control to destroy Earth again? She has the Tesla cannon gun. She can fly. The humans can barely walk. They've gotten so fat and lazy. So I would be Eva, and when we got back to Earth, I'd say, come on out, guys. Like, join my <laughs> Earth. And then they'd be like, yeah, I'll go into my president's office. And I'd be like, no, I'll go into the president's <laughs> office. You focus on learning to walk. And then he'd be like, well, I'm the captain. He'd say, get back on your ship if you want then, because this is my Earth. You ruined it once. Wally's been here 700 years creating trash piles. Look at all those out there in case you don't know it's fatty. I'm <laughs> going to do it this time. And then someone says something like, you're a robot, shut up. You just whip out the gun, just fire it once in the yeah. air. Just humans had their go at Earth. They ruined it. Robot's chance. So I had to be either more of a dictator role towards the end, <laughs> which I know isn't what they were going for <laughs> overall. But I'm saying friendly dictator. You sort of have that funny moment friendly where they both di- try and open the door to the office and then he was <laughs> like... <laughs> Tesla cannon to the head. Yeah. <laughs> Out. I like it. Yeah, I like I like that's it. good. Uh, that, that's really, really good, actually. That's really cool. Okay, go on, Kieran. Oh. Oh. I think uh, I think I would be, um, you know, the guy who, so there's, there's two humans who end up losing their screens. Yeah. Uh, one of them because uh, I think Wally bumps into her. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Um, and then another one because this woman is was watching Wally and Evie flying around outside, and the guy is there. And um, mm-hmm. uh, so this guy yeah. a- ends up dating this woman. We kind of get the idea that they yeah. end up dating. I essentially would. Um, boo, 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 boo. Do a bit religious. For so long. Trying to open this. For so long. <laughs> So they end up getting that on. And yeah. I, I I would just essentially, I would be like, hey, guys, I would immobilize, or I would mobilize all of the humans to be like, get rid of your screens and let's go swimming. And I would just essentially try and motivate people to get out of their seats and to, to yeah. start walking and to just, just, just go and have more have fun. Have a bit of a party. Yeah, yeah. Have okay. a bit, yeah. A bit Especially because it's going to be rough on Earth when you get yeah. off submit the A little bit of, of a ship. human liberation sort yeah. of situation going also, on. Also, by the way, okay. how is anyone making babies? Because if they're not ever getting out of their seats, no one's getting out of their I seats. I kind of imagined robots were harvesting their sperm and eggs. It's, oh, sex shit. Sex is so old-fashioned, Kieran. Yeah. Have you, what's the um, so, Bruce so, Willis one? They don't have sex in that either. The, which um, one? The girl, and she's wearing, like, the dress with the stripes on it. She's got pink hair. Bruce Willis is saving her. No. No. Someone knows, okay? Okay. Anyway, it's a futuristic (laughs) movie with Bruce Willis in, and he finds this woman who's, like, the extra component or whatever. And uh, Bruce Willis, being old-fashioned, tries to have sex with someone, and they're like, oh, my goodness, don't do it that way. And they just put on their headsets. Oh, okay. oh what? to get rid of STDs and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, they but... just headset it. So I imagine their chairs, they're just like sex mode. Cool. <laughs> now we know what's on your playlist every single time that you bang. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. Don't knock it till you try it, I guess. I've never really done the whole headset sex thing. Headset. It's fine. Um, but well, headset is a different thing, actually. But, but, uh, 
I, I reckon I would just that's be been this, around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I would be this guy and be like, hey, um, do you want to see my dickens? Or or I'd just be like, this there's this thing called sex and we've not done it for 700 years. Do you want to get on it, babes? Yeah. And she'd be like, oh, maybe, yeah. Or she'd be like, pass. And I'd be like, okay, cool. I'll just maybe. And you'd wait for consent? Yeah, that's what something I would yeah. do. Yeah, well that's something done. I would take for the from the present day. And I'd full like, circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, Jordan? like it. Mm. Um, you say lick it, by the way. I heard you say mm. lick it. I, I definitely said Grow like up. it. Yeah, there's a time and a place. Yeah. Unsexualize your brain. Okay. Um, are you done? Yep. Great. Uh, I would be the cockroach, and I would. <laughs> What? Wow! Do better for yourself, John. Come on, <laughs> come on! You know, it's low self-esteem. <laughs> hey, look, I'm basically indestructible. True. I'm okay. going to come with Wally on wicked space adventures because I feel like the cockroach wouldn't just leave him. I feel that like that was quite out of character mm. for the cockroach to actually just stay there because every time he's told him to stay before, he's never done it. Mm-hmm. No, that's a lie because he went behind him. So there was that time. Yeah, that, no, he that... told him to stay when the storm when he was going out, and then the cockroach immediately started following him. No, he told him to just go stay behind him. He told him to stay behind him. Well, he, point, he pointed I in front of him, then he debatable. pointed behind him, and he said, "You stay behind." But him. he also did exactly the same gesture to tell him to stop. Well, he tells him where to sit. I, I think Kieran's right on that one. He's Thank he you. Like points where to oh, sit. Like this. Like, this is good because because now we have someone who can point out who's right between the two of us. Well, I'm not saying I'm right. Either. We should have taken the. No, I think you. I think <laughs> you. I think you are right. Yeah. So I, I, I think don't like we can, this. We can take, <laughs> Take I don't like this. it. So, so what else would you do on your space expeditions with uh, with Wally? Right. Well, he's a cockroach, so he can get inside small places, right? Yeah. I think he'd be an invaluable member of the team for getting that plant back because he can get into the trash chute really nice and easy. Yeah. He can get around without really being seen. Good for reconnaissance. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And he seemed like quite a well-trained cockroach. He understood what was yeah. going on around him. Yep. I mean, he'd learn how to sit and, and, and follow and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, him and Wally were having conversations in small ways. Like they were communicating. Yeah, yeah, so that's that what I'm saying. This is this is an intelligent cockroach. Should follow orders quite well. Like, yeah, and, and we all seen. know that cockroaches are basically impenetrable to all sorts of things. I don't know if they can survive the vacuum of space. That's my only question. Maybe I'd have to go inside Wally's yeah, little square yeah, compartment. Yeah, you just got to get in his belly. You'd yeah. be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But okay. um, no, I'd definitely be coming along for a ride. Good shout. So, <laughs> would you stay indoors to watch this film, Ben? Without a doubt. I don't, I don't see how you could not stay indoors to watch this. With the only caveat being that because so much of the film was mocking humans for becoming so fat and lazy and glued to their screens, that I did go out for a walk <laughs> and get some nature involved after I'd watched yeah. the film indoors whilst looking at my phone at the same time and emailing <laughs> and watching a different screen at the same time. Oh, okay. Jordan? Um, I would, yeah. It's a great little Disney fun family film. Um, some wonderful little pop culture references in there. Um, there's some, yeah, there's a little bit for everyone in it. If you are currently like crushingly alone, um, I wouldn't watch it because it's definitely going to highlight some of those issues for you. I mean, as I said previously, I'm not alone and I still felt very lonely whilst watching this. So maybe just consider that before you start watching it. Make sure you you know you've got some people that you can go and see later if you need to. I think that whole point is interesting because I I don't know how to say this without it sounding quite um, quite sad, mm-hmm. but I think I would somewhat in a small way fall into the category of person that you're describing. Okay. Um. Sorry. And, sorry. Sorry. Oh no, that's okay. You know, but but this film kind of made it easier for me to to kind of. Uh, process it in a way yeah like it's it's not as if i'm constantly sitting there in my room like no one loves me because i don't feel that at all okay. it's it's just you know well that was the kind of person i was saying not uh, to, to that uh, to that extreme you'd have to be that level of like but you lit- know no, no 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 i mean like sometimes sometimes it's just like ah oh. like i was at a gig the other day and it's couples everywhere and it's just like oh. yeah that kind of vibe so and and so seeing wally being lonely and happy was actually okay, quite yeah, good. getting on with his shit. Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, he was still doing his thing. But when, but when the opportunity came up, he saw that opportunity and was like, "All right, got to make this happen." Yeah. So, so he just went. Okay, for yeah, it. no, from that angle, I can see. So it's I found it kind inspiring. of inspiring in yeah. a way. And if this robot, if this little stupid, funny, quirky robot can get it done, then mm. maybe I can too. Maybe. You know? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, okay. 
All I right. don't know you that well, but I'd say yes, in case oh, you're wondering. Cool, cool. good. Yeah. So uh, what are we watching next week, Kieran? Next week, we are watching Like Stars on Earth. Blech. Which you think sounds absolutely gross. Jordan's excited. Yeah, Shoot I can tell you really, really are. So, Ben... It'll be another before sunrise. <laughs> if it's going to be another before sunrise, I'm going to fucking love it. Yeah. So it's, it sounds like my kind of film. And it sounds like really not your kind of film, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, ben, I'm very sorry that you won't be with us next week. I am as well. So that is great shame. But will you watch the film? I might. I'm not going to commit to anything. <laughs> okay. like, uh, maybe I'll watch a trailer for it and then uh, plug in after that. Well, you can watch the trailers that we release on Instagram every week. You warn, exactly. You yeah. warn for spoilers. I don't like to spoil my podcast by watching the movie you're describing. It's somewhat of an inverse thing in that sense. Okay, but if you did actually watch the film, would you uh, make a 15 second pitch and send it to 250reasons at gmail.com? I would. I would. Are there any other ways I can contact you? Well, I guess if you really wanted to, you could send a tweet to at 250reasons on Twitter or you could actually, uh, you know, like or comment our stuff on Instagram as well, at 250reasons or on Facebook indeed. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I'll take my fee at the end of this for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything you want to plug, Ben? Um, shout out to my own mother. Keep yeah. on trucking. What's your mum's name? Denise. Keep going. Shout out. Shout out. Denise. Denise. <laughs> nice. Cool. <laughs> Keep on trucking, Denise. <laughs> Keep it going. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Kieran, Kieran, my pen is leaking. Oh, dear Liza, dear Liza. That's the song. Yeah. Um, so you can listen to us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Okay. If, yeah. It's what, fine. What, what, they what get is, it. They get it. Don't just have a little faith. Um, so you can listen to us. <laughs> you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Acast, Podbean, YouTube, um, just going, keep going higher. Um, you can send us an email at 250reasons at gmail.com. You can uh, interact with us on social media at Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all at 250reasons. Hey, Jordan. Yeah? We're out of Lural. Bye. <laughs>